Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another gardening video. So you might have seen earlier this season when I created this new garden bed that I'm still working on that I bought, I didn't buy. My mom gave me this crepe myrtle tree from her garden. Um, it was just a volunteer that had grown and it was in the wrong spot in her garden. And so we dug it up and we brought it over here, but it had hardly any roots. Crape myrtle trees have very shallow roots. Um, so you, it's hard to get a big root ball. Either way, we planted it, the leaves immediately wilted, even though I kept trying to water it and take care of it. And I figured I'd, I'd leave it for a season and see what it did. Cause sometimes they look dead and then next year they come back, but there's, there's no bend left in the branches. So you check for bend, they just snap off. If you go in with a knife and you scrape the bottom, any part of the tree, there's no green left. Um, and so I've just been waiting to see if I could find a crepe myrtle at a better price than full price, or if another volunteer popped up at mom's yard that we could give it another go. And I went to the big box store two days ago and they had just marked down almost all of their crepe myrtle trees. And I got this one. So it was originally $125. I paid $43 for it. It is already much bigger than the one I had. So I'm very happy about that. Plus it has those hot pink balloons. And that's what I'm looking for in this space. I have two white crepe myrtles in front of my house and I wanted a pink one here. So you'll see it has these kind of purple leaves instead of the traditional green, which I thought would be really fun. It plays with the Laura Pedlum bushes, the purple ones I have in front of the house, still has those hot pink blooms and it was a great price. So it is called a twilight crepe myrtle. I'll put a link down below to the information I found about them, but this particular one did not have a tag with zone information. I'll try to put that up on the screen, but they'll definitely grow in my zone, which is 9B. Um, and they are supposed to get, there's different varieties, but this specific twilight variety is supposed to get between 10 and 15 feet tall. So it's not full grown, but it's getting there. And then the leaf canopy will eventually be twice as wide as the tree is tall. So if this grows to 15 feet, the tree canopy will eventually be 30 feet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try, try our best to plant it by ourselves because since they were on clearance, I got one and mom got one. I'll try to go over and film doing that one as well. But, um, since they were on clearance, both trees that we bought were a little wilted, um, not taken care of very well. Which is, of course, why a nursery, especially a local nursery, is usually where I prefer to get my plants. They take care of their plants beautifully as opposed to the big box store. But, you know, $43. I looked at these trees at the nursery because my mom just bought a loquat tree from the nursery. And they were in the three dollars $400 range. So for $43, we're going to give this a shot. I am going to try to just pull this guy out. I can't imagine he's rooted in at all. And then I'm going to start digging. And we will see if I have the ability to dig a hole this big or if I have to ask my mom or brother to come help me. I'm also not sure the root ball here is 17 inches across, which there's 17 inches in here, but I might have to move some of these plants around it to really give it a good rooted in spot. I just don't know until I start trying. So that's what we're going to do. All right. First things first, can I pull this tree out easy peasy? Yes, it never grew at all. It still has the exact same roots as when I planted it. So it just wasn't happy. We didn't get enough roots to make the difference. All right, step two, move the soaker hose out of the way. We're gonna start with the long shovel, and then if we need to, we'll go to the auger 
I did on a pretty big hole when I did the first crepe myrtle because I wasn't sure how much roots we were going to get. And I also, uh, you know, you learn along the way that the fluffier the dirt you can kind of plant things in, the easier it is for them to grow. So, I just see. Just gonna get in here. Try not to trample the things I want to keep. Now, this fox glove, right by my right foot, is spent. It was from this year, it bloomed. So, I doubt. It will come back next year. I have to pull something out. That's where it was stuck. All right, we've gotten pretty far, but there are at least two roots down here that I'm gonna have to get my saws all for, so give me a second. All right, so just so you could see before I get that saws all, here's the hole we're digging. Here's our tree. So I don't know, this one, we may move back here and this one we may pull out, but see if I can get past these zinnias right down here there's a big root here and a big root there so I'm gonna go grab the saws all and see if we can't pop those out of there bees and wasps I hate those wasps but they like the garden as long as they stay away from me I stay away from them. All right, got the saws on. Let's see what damage we can do. <laughs> Finally, two big roots. Let's keep going and see if we find any more.
All right, y'all. So you saw I took out quite a few roots, but down here, this whole section is one giant root, like from here, top of the wall, all the way down below here. So despite my best efforts, I don't think I'm gonna get that out. And I think the root ball still has enough room. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to plant this guy and see how it looks if after I get it all the way in the hole and it's just not quite right, I might have to ask my brother to come help me get through those roots because I've been doing it for a while now. My arms are shaking. Oh no, my wand is going through my pincushion plant. All right, let's plant it. All right, y'all. So first off, we're going to put some slow release fertilizer in. You want to put a bunch because it's a tree. Hopefully that's enough. We'll put some more on the top too. Now, let's see if my wand wants to work. It did it yesterday. Laura from Garden Answer has said in some of her videos that when she's planting trees, she'll put water in the hole first. That way, once you put the tree in, it can soak water from the bottom up. We will also give it a really good soaking from the top down. So I do believe I want this to be my front view. So let's put it in and then we might have to readjust it a little. Oh, yeah. I'm going to step back and see if it's straight. I'm trying not to hurt myself in the back. That actually looks good. Okay, so now you go ahead, backfill it with dirt, tamp it in really good, water it really good, all the things. Only other thing we probably need to do before we call it official is check the roots and see if they're root bound. but I am going to loosen them a little.
他的姐。Just replaced the toad yesterday, and I think didn't get the water pressure turned all the way up because it just does not want to work. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna water it a bit more, um, top off the dirt with some more compost so it blends in, but I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna take a water break because I don't wanna get dehydrated and we'll finish up. Whew. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hot. Really wanted my little tree to live, but she's not enough roots. Sad. The nook hollows up faucet just a little bit. That was definitely the problem. Okay, so, one more problem I just realized. Forgot to put my sucker hose back over, and it's not going to go all the way over this tree. Let's see. Let's put it right up to it this way. The only thing that doesn't hit are the fox gloves, and like I said, this one's coming out, and that one should be well established for next year. So we'll try that.
All right, we're gonna call that good. I will watch it over the next couple days just to see if it's struggling, how it's doing. Um, you can also get little tree rings that you can put around a new tree filled with water that just help it to get constant water. Um, you could also leave your hose. Sorry, the helicopters are out now. You could also leave your hose all over the roof wall on a slow trickle until it roots in and gets established. But this little guy looks much happier than our last tree. I'm much happier. I'm gonna show y'all a couple different angles, but it's so nice to have an actual tree here instead of my dead stick. <laughs> It's going to be beautiful once it starts adding a bit more canopy, but for now, y'all, I absolutely love it. Of course, I've still got plenty of cleanup left to do. There is literally dirt all over my path, but tree is planted. Tree should be great. And I will give you updates on it as we do our um, monthly garden tours. Leave a comment down below if you want to see us plant mom's crepe myrtle in her new garden bed because it is a slightly different tree. Has one trunk, huge trunk, is more of a lollipop shape and different color leaves and blooms. Other than that, crepe myrtles, you're going to plant them the same whether they're pink or white or purple. <laughs> I love mine. I'm so happy. Bye.